What is going on my friends? Hank here from Spruce and Brews Scale Modeling. And if you're just getting into the hobby of plastic modeling, maybe you're thinking about picking up your very first model kit, or maybe you've been away for many years and are just getting back into it, you are in the right place. Because today, we're gonna check out my top five kit recommendations for beginner scale modelers. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at beginner-friendly American aircraft and armor kits. There are so many scale model brands on the market today, and for somebody just getting started, it can be really difficult to find the right kit for both your skill level and price point. So the five scale models we're gonna to cover today are easy and enjoyable to build, pretty simple to paint up, and are gonna look great when they're all finished. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to get the full scoop on these five kits, and hopefully we'll get you off to a great start in this wonderful hobby of scale modeling. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so before we get into our first kit recommendation today, a couple of important things to keep in mind. First, I'm gonna have links in the description below for all of the kits we discussed today. So if you wanna go ahead and pick one up for yourself to practice on, you don't have to go digging around online to find it. And second, after you watch this video, if you're interested in learning about some great modeling supplies and paints for beginners, I'm gonna have resources on both of those topics in the description below. So if you wanna watch either of my videos on those, you can check them out as well. Because if you're gonna get into building, you gotta make sure you got the right gear, right? All right, with that said, let's get into our first model recommendation. So my very first kit recommendation for somebody getting into the hobby is a true American icon. It was a reliable war machine for many years and is now an unmistakable part of US culture. We are talking about the small but mighty Jeep Willys quarter ton 4x4 in 135 scale. This is kit number 35219 from Tamiya, and it was originally released back in 1997. Now, I've got a couple of reasons why this makes our list today. Number one, it's a really straightforward build with very clear instructions, and since it's a relatively small vehicle, you're going to be able to build it up pretty quickly. For a beginner builder, that's really important because sometimes it can be frustrating to start working on a big tank or aircraft kit, and after hours and hours of work, you can barely tell that it's a vehicle at all. So with this little Jeep, you're gonna be able to make some real progress in just a short bit of time, and then you can move on to the painting and finishing stages. And number two, this kit is a great value. Since it's a slightly older model and it has a lower part count, you can pick this up for about 20 bucks, which is a great beginner price point for a really high quality kit from the folks at Tamiya. With this kit, you're gonna get a whole bunch of different accessories to work with, including a driver figure and options for a 30 cal MG, a towing bar, a wire cutter for the bumper, and some pioneering tools to throw all over your Jeep. On top of that, you're also gonna get five decal options, so plenty of choices to pick what unit your Jeep is gonna to belong to. And another great thing about this kit is that you can really have fun with it and add even more packs and gear, or even throw a couple different figures in there if you want. This is my Jeep, and I've added some nice resin figures in there and some stowage that I had lying around from another kit. I really love this build. So that is my first recommendation on today's list. To me is Jeep Willys 4x4 and 135 scale. I think you guys are gonna have a blast with this one for sure. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. All right, moving on to my second kit recommendation for new builders. We're hopping over to the aviation side of things for this one. And believe it or not, this vehicle is perhaps more iconic than the Jeep we just checked out. The fact that the box art calls it the fighter of World War II, pretty big claim there for sure. This kit is the P-51B C in 172 scale. This is kit number 12441 from Academy. It was originally released in 2001 and reboxed in 2012. And it makes our list today for some of the same reasons we just covered with the Jeep. The P-51 Mustang is an absolutely beautiful aircraft. It was a workhorse of the USAAF during the Second World War and has one of the most recognizable silhouettes in aviation history. This offering from Academy gives us an early model Mustang. You can build this as either a B or a C variant and it comes with three marking options for aircraft that fought either in the European or the Pacific theaters. Like our Jeep, this kit is a very straightforward build that won't give you too much trouble at all. The whole thing comes on just four sprues at 172nd scale, and it's a quick and easy assembly for you to start honing your scale modeling skills. The kit comes with your choice of accessories to add to the Mustang, including some underwing rockets, bombs, or a couple of different drop tank options. In addition, you can choose to build the canopy either open or closed, depending on your preference. Also like our last kit, this is a super affordable option for the new scale modeler. It's currently available at around $13, which is pretty hard to beat. You can barely buy lunch for 13 bucks, so not too bad for an iconic World War II Orbird. I built mine up years ago and had a blast with it. I'm definitely gonna grab another one soon because it's a lovely little kit. And I think this is a perfect option for somebody who wants to get their hands dirty on their very first scale model aircraft kit. So that is our 172nd scale P-51 BC from Academy. I will have a link to it in the description below if you'd like to grab one for yourself. On to our third model on the list today. We're gonna go back to armor for this one and we're gonna venture outside of the Second World War for a moment here. 
My third recommendation here for a great beginner kit was the muscle behind the American armored units in Vietnam, and it helped pave the way for modern tank development through the Cold War. This is the M48A3 Patton in 135 scale. This is kit number 35120 from Tamiya, and it was originally released back in 1981. This is the oldest kit on our list today, but don't let its age fool you. This kit offers a really smooth assembly and builds up to be an impressive looking model in its own right. This kit makes our list today for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's our first big 135 scale tank. Jeeps and trucks are fun and all, but making a big piece of armor like this is one of the best parts about scale modeling. This was one of the very first tanks that I ever built, and it was a really enjoyable experience. 135 scale parts are really easy to work with, they're a little less fiddly than 148 or 172nd scale, and the simple design of the patent makes it fall together without any trouble at all. And number two, this kit lets us explore outside the realm of World War II a bit. While World War II kits are some of the most plentiful on the market, there's a whole bunch of different offerings out there from Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and beyond to more contemporary conflicts. This kit comes with markings for four different vehicles, two Marine Corps tanks and two US Army tanks, so you've got some flexibility with the unit you want to depict, which is great. I've added some figures and some stowage to my M48 here over the years, and it's always going to be one of my favorites in my collection. So if you'd like to take a crack at this classic patent kit from Tamiya, you can check out the link in the description below. It's currently going for around $25, which is still a great deal for a classic 135 scale tank model. All right, we are getting right through it here. On to my number four recommendation for the best American aircraft and armor kits for beginners. This one brings us back into the skies, and more specifically, into the skies over the Pacific. This is the first 148 scale kit on our list, and it was one of the most powerful American fighters of the Second World War. This is kit number 61046 from Tamiya, the Chance Vought F4U 1 2 Corsair, originally released in 1996. The Corsair is another all-time aviation icon with the big radial engine and those folding gull wings. It's a model I think every builder should have in his or her collection at some point. Now I mentioned this particular F4U 1-2 model from Tamiya, but amazingly they have four different offerings for the Corsair, all in 148 scale. They all build up very similarly and offer some different accessories and markings so you can take your pick between this earliest 1-2 kit a 1A kit, or a couple of different 1D model Corsairs. And you can't go wrong with any of them, so it's really up to you. The Corsair makes our list today for two main reasons. Number one, 148 scale is one of the most popular scales for military model aircraft, and it's my personal favorite for this subject. It's a really good idea to get familiar with 148 scale aircraft kits because they're some of the most plentiful on the market, and I think that this Corsair from Tamiya is a really straightforward build that you're going to enjoy quite a bit. It's a great way to get your feet wet in the world of 148 scale aircraft, and like I mentioned before, you've got a few different options to choose from. And second, this is a great kit to practice painting aircraft camo schemes. Painting is one of the most rewarding parts of this hobby. It's a really important skill to develop, whether you're brush painting or airbrushing, and the Navy and Marine Corps blue schemes of the Corsairs are pretty forgiving, can really help you start to figure out a strategy on how you approach aircraft painting. You can do most of these schemes up in just one or two colors and get a really great result, so for that reason I think the Corsair is an awesome option for any beginner builder looking to hone his or her painting skills. So if you'd like to take on this rugged warbird from the PTO, you can check out one of the four Tamiya offerings using the links below. Right now they're going for between $30 to $40 depending on the variant you go for. All right guys, we've made it to our very last recommendation on this list of best American aircraft and armor kits for beginners. This one is near and dear to my heart. I love building these kits. This final recommendation is perhaps the most iconic American tank of all time, recreated in 135 scale. This is Tamiya's beautiful M4A3 E8 Sherman Easy 8. Now, Tamiya has a whole line of super beginner-friendly Sherman models, including an M4 early production model and late production M4A3s, one with a 75mm man gun, one with a 105mm howitzer. But the one that makes my list today is the Easy 8 version with the late war HVSS suspension and the 76mm main gun. This kit, number 35346, came out in 2015 and is a wonderful example of the incredible engineering, perfect fit, and easy to follow instructions that we've come to know and love from Tamiya. And it makes our list today for two very important reasons. Number one, this is the most complex kit on this list, but it's the right kind of complicated for a new scale modeler. And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of parts here compared to the other kits we've looked at today which is gonna give you a lot of practice following the instructions and understanding the basic assembly system of a Tamiya kit. But the instructions are super clear, as I mentioned before, and the fit is perfect. With a lot of model kits, the parts don't align 100% like they're supposed to, and that can cause a lot of frustration for the builder, especially the new builder, but that is not the case here at all. 
As long as you follow the directions of this kit, it's going to go together exactly as it's supposed to, and before you know it, you're going to have your own EZ8 ready to paint and finish up. And the second reason I've added this kit to the list here is because it's a Sherman. Icon status. The medium tank M4 was the backbone of the Allied armor divisions during World War II. Nearly 50,000 were produced during its production run, and you see them in pretty much every World War II movie or documentary you watch or any World War II book you read. If you enjoyed the 2014 film Fury with Brad Pitt, the M4A3 E8 is the star of the show. And if you know even the smallest amount about World War II history, you're probably going to be able to recognize a Sherman tank. And for that reason, it takes the last spot on this list. Every scale modeler ought to have a Sherman in his or her collection, and I say, why not start early? So if you'd like to pick yourself up this EZ8 kit from Tamiya, I'll have a link right down in the description below. You can snag one for yourself. I'll also provide a link for some of the other Tamiya Sherman offerings if you'd like to check those out as well. All right, my friends, before you go, don't exit out of the video just yet. If you're gonna get started in this wonderful hobby of scale modeling, you can't just pick up a kit and get going. It's equally as important to have the right supplies for the job. I'm gonna link my best gear for beginners video right here in just a second. I've got some really great value options for necessary supplies like plastic cement and spruce nippers that you're definitely going to need to build up these kits. So make sure you give that a watch before you start cracking on whatever model you end up going for. So that is it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed building up your very first scale model kit or your first scale model kit in many years. It's a super rewarding hobby with a really great community of builders to chat and learn from. So welcome aboard. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more beginner tutorials and building tips. And you can also follow along at Spruce and Brews on Instagram for some behind the scenes looks of what I'm working on. Here is that supplies video I mentioned. And until next time, my friends, be well, happy building. Cheers.